Well, this is the perfect example. We generally feel confident about the track of a storm, but the intensity, very problematic, very hard to predict. And now some new technology could help improve those intensity forecasts. New Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman is live in West Palm to explain. Steve, I talked via Skype to NOAA researchers down in Miami tonight who hope that these unmanned submarines will help fill in the gap for storm forecasts. NOAA researchers call this yellow submersible a sea glider. It's built to ride under the water when a hurricane rolls across the ocean. We're looking for changes in the ocean as the storm passes over. NOAA now has two of these sea gliders in the water near Puerto Rico, packed with sensors and in the perfect position to collect data from Erica. So right now they're very good at knowing the track of the hurricane, where it's going to be in three days and five days. But as we saw with Sandy and Katrina, they're not always as good with the intensity forecasts. The sea glider will be gathering information from the water, including ocean temperature, salinity, and oxygen, to help forecast the intensity of Erica and future storms. Hurricane hunters and in the future, unmanned drones can fly inside and above a storm, but researchers hope sea gliders will complete the picture about the strength of an approaching storm. It stops at the surface of the ocean. It can't get any data during a storm below that, and you can't have ships out there to collect data. So the gliders are the only way to collect oceanographic data during a storm. Now, this is the second hurricane season that NOAA has been using the sea gliders, but NOAA really hopes to use these for future storms. We're live from the Intercoastal. Steve, back to you. All right. Uh, that is very exciting, and uh, hopefully that technology continues to develop. That is uh, one area that we really need new information.